Hey, what up, what up? This is Chauncey Billups, and y'all listening to Three Point Conversion. Peace. Mike Curtis with the Dallas Morning News. Um, what did you see there in the second half that was clicking more for you guys offensively um, versus the first half where you kind of kind of struggled a little bit? Uh, we were more physical on defense. Uh, uh, that's about it. Uh, you know, uh, we came out of second half. Uh, second half is the way we should play the whole game. So uh, we got to learn from that. Hola, Luca. Eh, quería saber acerca de ¿Nos puedes explicar qué tan físico fue este partido y sobre todo el reto de la defensa de los Clippers? Sí, creo que han jugado una defensa muy buena, muy física, eh, sobre todo en el primer tiempo. Eh, así que tenemos que acostumbrarnos a eso y eh, jugar mejor. Look, just, uh, how much were you guys, I guess, preparing um, to, for Kawhi, and uh, how much changes uh, both mentally and, and on the court when when he's not out there? Uh, we were prepared like he was going to play, obviously, uh, but that shouldn't change our mentality. You know, we uh, they, their mentality was next man up. Uh, I think they executed very well, very well. Uh, but we just got to stay focused 48 minutes. Uh, it's playoffs, uh, so we got to stay focused 48 minutes. Sorry? Do you think the was effective? I don't know. It should have. Uh, I don't, but I don't know. Brad Townsend, Dallas Morning News. In the first half, uh, as you said, the Clippers were more physical. How much of a factor was uh, Zubac in that? And why weren't you guys able to do a better job of keeping him from getting off to that big start. Yeah, I think he was definitely the X factor today. Uh, or how do you say it? I don't know. Uh, but he was a big factor for them, uh, you know, rebounding, scoring too. So uh, we got to we gotta be more physical with him and do a better job with him. Hey, hey look to the right. Uh, I know three years ago when you got to face the Clippers in the playoffs, uh, you did a great job of just making them have to play bigger with bigger players. Uh, how does this year's uh, Clippers line up with guys that are more like your size? How does that affect you on the offensive end? Uh, I just got to stay aggressive. Uh, you know, uh, that was my bad in the first half. Uh, wasn't aggressive enough, uh, so I just got to stay aggressive and find the open man. Tim McMahon, ESPN. You, Kyrie, J. Kidd, Gafford have, have all talked about not being physical enough. Why do you think you guys came out flat, and, and how do you address that? How do you change that? Uh, I don't know why we did, uh, but we just got to watch film and come out in the second game uh, with the same energy we came out in the second half. A little bit of frustration down the third, fourth quarter in transition, uh, in transition where you, you kind of had a couple of turnovers passing the two down the court. Uh, is it going to be a point of emphasis uh, going forward into practice tomorrow? Um, and then how do you kind of manage that transitional uh, getting turnovers, passing to the man down the court? Well, I've been doing this the whole season, so uh, I'll still throw it. If I see somebody open, open I'll throw it. Look, their defense seemed to really bog down the role players. You and Kyrie are going to, you know, do your thing, take the bulk of the shots. But what do you guys have to do for game two to start to get some of the other players? And how would you like to see them get themselves involved, get themselves open, cutting and moving? A lot of kind of standing around once you and Kyrie are doing your thing. How can we improve that for game two for you guys? Uh, we just got to play like we used to play. Uh, like we played last 20 games of the, of the season, uh, you know, uh, Passing the ball, uh, cutting, uh, ball moving. I think we did a great job last 20 games, so we just got to play like that. Thank you, Luca. Thanks, Luca. Yep.